or hazardous materials transportation means that it is difficult to cover all sectors of the industry with one policy. It needs to be specific to the workplace and developed with drivers, dispatchers, managers, unions and other affected employees. If everyone has ownership and a commitment to safe work practices, the policy will succeed. If you do it right, if you look after your drivers and give them safe equipment to work with and schedules that will work, then you're not going to have rollovers. You don't have to go through that grief. You don't risk your customers because you're not going to destroy their, their freight. Over a space of time, you can't just demand, you know, hey, we're doing it right, pat us on the back and give us more, more freight to cart. Over a space of time, it gets, it gets recognised. Policy cannot enforce good practice. It is important to inform everyone of their obligations, but drivers and coordinators especially need to enter into the spirit of the policy. If the focus is on safe operations and improving the quality of life for drivers, a safety culture can develop. We as a company have uh, put large investment within relation to safety. We have created policy, we have created training uh, with the driver's management from myself down. We have created a culture that leans towards all that. And if you don't start from the top, the culture wouldn't be there. Napping policy should be coordinated with health programs so it can focus on what affects drivers' quality of sleep, giving information about healthy diets, exercise and drugs. Checking for underlying sleep disorders and following up treatment for conditions such as sleep apnea could go a long way in correcting the problem. Drivers may benefit from training in relaxation techniques that minimise the time it takes them to fall asleep. Other transport related industries such as the railways, airlines and emergency services have already developed napping policies and scheduling strategies to overcome fatigue. An exhausted driver is dangerous and is no credit to the company or other drivers. Your napping policy may need explanation to your clients so they can change their demands to allow your company to operate as safely and efficiently as possible. If you treat someone like a human being, it will treat you like a human being. And that's why we're succeeding. That's why we come on time. That's why our customers are very happy to deal with us. That's why our customers are paying a little bit more for that. And that's why our customers are making sure that we stay in business. If we take a realistic, professional attitude to driver fatigue, we can overcome this endemic problem. Napping is a prudent policy. Drivers have been doing it for years, but the greatest benefits will come from using napping effectively with the support of good scheduling. An alert driver is safer and healthier. Things can be done right, things can get better for everyone, and it is possible to exist doing things properly. Alert employees are good business. Sleep is as important to the transport industry as diesel and oil.